So unless you are actively making muscle, you can eat all the protein you want, and it's not going to make more muscle. It's going to be converted into a storage form of energy, which is either glycogen, and you fill up your glycogen stores very rapidly, or fat. And here's the bad news. Looking at radioactive labeled nitrogen in human volunteers, the average protein meal, whether it's 25 grams or 50 grams or 100 grams, only about 13% of that meal goes to your muscles. Only. The rest is either burned as energy, nothing wrong with that, or stored as fat. You have such little requirement for protein. And these experiments have been done in volunteers looking at plant proteins, looking at animal proteins, looking at whole proteins, looking at proteins that have been broken down. And I'm sorry, the vast majority of protein that you eat does not become protein in your muscles. You could eat all the protein you want. You will not build more muscles unless you are actively trying to build muscles. But then, guess what? You're getting so much extra protein in your diet if you're eating the U.S. recommended daily allowance that you'll always be able to build more muscle. And this has actually been shown in people who have been given minimal amounts of protein and put on an exercise program and they still do superbly well compared to people who are put on a high protein diet because most of it doesn't go to your muscles folks most of it is converted to sugar and fat sorry about that so does eating protein help you build muscle no it doesn't unless you're actively building muscle but you've already in a regular diet getting more protein than you actually need does it build strong bones you're already getting enough protein in a regular diet to build strong bones. And if you really want to build strong bones, then you need to seal leaky gut because leaky gut is the cause of weak bones. How about it helps you lose weight or maintain a healthy weight? No, because most of the protein you're going to eat is converted to sugar or fat. Now, that doesn't sound like a good plan for losing weight. It lowers blood pressure. No, Protein converts to sugar or fat, and the fatter you get, the higher your blood pressure goes. Reduces cravings, promotes satiety. No, the problem with powders in protein is you instantly absorb that protein instead of if you ate a piece of fish or a steak. It would take you hours and hours to break that fish or steak apart into individual amino acids. So quite the contrary, protein powders are the worst way to cut your appetite because they'll be absorbed instantly and you'll go looking for more. 